Hello everyone, it's the Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well today. We are back looking at another upcoming mod, this time from Pleasant View Farms and his new shed that we are looking at in front of us. But um, my reasons for doing this video are not just because there's a very new cool shed to look at, but also I wanted to put a little bit of a spotlight on Pleasant View Farms. I first met Pleasant View right at the end of FS19 um, and he was starting to play around with modding and stuff like that, but with no previous experience. And the difference in his mods and the development and the growth in him as a modder over the last couple of years is phenomenal. And he does some really, really nice mods. I've got a few of his other mods here to show you as well. Um, he is a big Alice Chalmers fan. In fact, I would probably say he is Alice Chalmers' biggest fanboy out of anybody that I've ever met. So uh, I'm going to enjoy showing you some of those as well in conjunction with the shed. But again, even the shed has got some lovely little details in which just show how much he's developed and progressed as a modder uh, over the last couple of years. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's have a little look at what he's been up to. So we have got this more traditional uh, barn. Uh, we had the Millennial Farmer sheds last week. We've got something a little bit more traditional here, but doesn't mean that he hasn't put some nice touches in it so big opening doors there lovely lovely sounds there as they open very nice i like the fact that they didn't open universally as well one open before the other which is nice we've got a light switch here for the outside light up there which is censored by the time of the day as well we've got these lovely i, I can't believe i just dove straight into that without pointing out these absolutely lovely uh, icons uh, helper icons, custom icons here. Um, we'll come to the little palette ones in a minute because that's a lovely touch. We've got another light switch over here as well, which uh, manages the inside lights like so. Look at that. Lovely orange light as well. Not too harsh and bright as you would expect in maybe an older barn. So we love that. Uh, lovely details here. The stools and the bench work, the fridge freezer there. We've got a bin here. We've got a couple of cupboards. Uh, we've got a few things up here. We've got a toolbox. We've got a wrench. Uh, we've got a hammer here, which you can pick up as well. I like that. Always like it when there's little bits and pieces of uh, immersion floating around uh, a shed. There we go. Angle grinder as well, which you can pick up, put down. Uh, lots of tools and things like that. Obviously, you've got uh, a mechanic space here, uh, so you can fix your tractors. And the trigger for those is just over here where this grill is in the ground. So if you're leaking oil all over the place, it'll go down there. Um, and then round the corner, as well as a couple of flags on the wall, which is nice. I do like that. We've got a pressure washer and a side exit as well. So again, if you want to pull your vehicles up here and give them a little uh, clean at the end of the day, you can do that. So always nice to have a pressure washer included. There we go. So uh, good to see. Now, let me just touch on this because I think this is very clever. Um, I like the way he's incorporated this. And to do that, we are going to need a vehicle. So let's just go over here. Let's grab one of his Alice Charms. Let's grab the 7000 because I do have a, uh, a front fork uh, so I can pick up a pallet with it. But we'll pick this up again. Another one of his mods and you can pick all of these up from his itch page and I strongly recommend that is the only place you pick them up from with all the dramas that have been going on the last week. Please only get your mods from the Mod Hub or direct from modders on their itch pages or wherever they store them and avoid those uh, mod sharing sites as much as possible because you do not know what you're downloading. Right, enough of the uh, lecture. Let's pick up this and we'll put it into the shed. So just one thing here, but it will take all pallets. So we've just got some seed here and what we'll do, we'll throw it into the shed using the tractor like so and you will see what happens. So if I roll in here over the trigger, right, I've moved over here just so you can see this a little bit better. So let's set this down on the floor like so. And if I reverse out of the way here, there you go. Look, it appears up high in the shed. So it's got pallet storage in here, which is great. Right, so let's get this out of the way. I'll show you how that works as well. Uh, we'll just pop this back over here. We'll come back and have another look at this in a minute. So yes, we have pallet storage in the shed. Now, let me spawn a couple more things and let me just show you how they work. 
So here we go. We've got a few things here. We've got some bread. We've got some oils. Strawberries. Some road salt. And some wool. And there they all are stacked on the shelves up there so this is brilliant if you want to play uh, it'll take 50 pallets uh, total but if you want to play a little bit of immersive play or you want to you know just store seed fertilizer things like that in the shed and bring them down as and when you need them this is the way to do it and to bring them down you just wander over here you hit r and you can choose which ones you want to bring down so let's bring down our strawberries shall we there we go and there it is. Strawberries back out. And then when you're done, you can put them back in. Brilliant. Really like that. Lovely little bit of attention to detail. Makes the shed more usable as well. Gives it a little bit more flexibility. Um, now, let's roll the old D21 over and I'll just show you the maintenance trigger as well. A standard maintenance trigger as you uh, would expect. But look at this tractor. Isn't it great? With the big uh, wide tyres and things like that fantastic so we fired up this and again just to give you an idea of this little uh, mod and how much he's developing as a modder love the fact that you've got a gear change and all of that animation on there as well fantastic so we'll just roll this over here like so jump out and we can wander down here hit R and there you go there's your maintenance do whatever you want to it and then head back out brilliant gotta love it now one more thing i want to point out as well he has implemented uh, thunder's color mod for sheds as well so again if i jump into here at the moment you will find it in tools because it's classed as a workshop he's put it in tools um now that might change before it goes live it might just end up in sheds but i think it is appropriate in tools there but look that's what you get to start with and spin it around i'll just put it i'll angle it like so so you can see now if you've never used thunder's mod i'll put a link to it in the description as well again download it from his itch.io page and nowhere else but you can change different parts of the building so we're on change color section one at the moment and you switch between them by holding down s left shift n and m and then you change colors by pressing n and m so if i press m now i will scroll through the colors well, these parts of the building like so I'm gonna hold down left shift M again and I'm gonna to change to color section 2 which is your roof so you get a feel for that I'm gonna hold down shift and M again so I'm scrolling you can scroll backwards and forwards between N and M there uh, and then I'm gonna change the colors there we go borders uh, and there are actually six sections so that is the inside of the shed there with the gable ends and obviously the panelling on the inside. That's colour section 4. Colour section 5 is your window frames. Very nice. And colour section 6 is your doors. So you've got all of that flexibility as well, which is fantastic. Uh, and just because you colour them when you place your building down doesn't mean that that's the end of it. So if I come out of here again, spin round. Now if I look at my building here... Go back into the build menu. Want to mouse over it. As soon as you put your mouse over it, watch the uh, controls in the top left corner. You can see you can still change the colour. So we're back on colour section 1 here. And I do want to change that. So let me change that to a nice light grey. There we go. And then we change to section 2. Change the roof to a green. Section 3. Actually, I like those as they were. Section 4, inside, they were fine too. 5 is fine. And 6, let's change our doors to the same green as our roof. If they have it, they do. Well, that's similar. That'll do. But you get the idea. You get to change the colour of your building whenever you see fit. So, there you go. Very nice indeed. Now, just before I leave, I do want to show the Gleaner that he's just recently released as well. Which is, again, a lovely model absolutely beautiful like i said he's an alice Chalmers fanboy so you'll always find a hint of alice stuff going on 
in his mods, which is great. Uh, nice six row head there. There is an eight row version for this as well. Again, can be found on his itch. And I've jumped into the tractor, not the combine. So let's move that out of the way and jump out and just sit in the cab here. There we go. Lovely noise on that as well. And we're in cab here. You can see lovely details. Things move as you uh, move things about. So those little animations working very nicely indeed. Like I said, his development as a modder has been nothing short of uh, outstanding over the last couple of years. And I think there's a lot more to come. Very excited to see what he does next. Um, he's a real farmer as well. He does this in and around his day job, feeding cattle at all ungodly hours of the day, as he sometimes talked to us on Discord about. But um, Pleasant View Farms, uh, not just a brilliant shed, but some really nice old iron mods as well. Um, definitely worth going and checking him out and uh, tell him that I sent you. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful guy and a credit to the community. So go and give him some love. So that's it for now from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.